I'm back in Vegas. Oh, I brought Abby with me. Japan and Vermont were super fun. Amazingly fun, but I am still back to be back home in my regular routine. That's all I want. But yeah, first things we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna come to an event. Like, I feel like I have to do that. Well, not an event. We are here for the grand opening of With Love Always, which if you guys know Drew uh, Unlocked, he just opened this and the burgers look amazing. Oh my God. How are you? I'm, yeah, I'm sweating, I'm cooking. I'm, re I'm doing the recipes, I'm on the grill, I'm sweating. That's what we want, we want sweaty burgers. <laughs> no, you, I want every want burger to come off the, off the grill with love, always. We're excited to try this burger. I'm excited for everyone to eat the food. Eat the food fresh, please. Film whatever videos you want, but please eat the food fresh. It's so interesting, like he only has three burgers, uh, the classic, all-American, and SOB, which I think he said, what do you say SOB stand for? Stood for? Smothered onion burger, something like that. Yeah, then he just has like regular fries, a loaded fries. Oh my God, Drew. If, if you don't eat this food fresh, Okay. I swear to God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. We have to eat this fresh. Drew mandates it. I don't know which one I have on first. Okay. Which was the one with the tomato? I think it's this one. So this one is our all American. So it has American cheese, pickles, ketchup, mustard. Oh, it doesn't have tomato. I thought it did. Okay. Look at that crust. Holy crap. These are a little too good. Okay. These are true smash burgers. They're like pressed down. Oh, wait. Oh my God. This is the SOB, so yeah, there's onions in, in the actual meat. What? Okay. That's pretty good too. So far I do like the all-American one better, but it's because I have ketchup and mustard and this one is not. This is good. And then this one right here, they're classic. It has a lot of onions. I'm not an onion person, but I'm still gonna try it. Oh my god. Why is that one so good? What the heck? These are too good, guys. Oh my god. Alright. Loaded with love fries. Holy crap. This is way too good. Okay, it's Abby's turn to try them. Uh oh. It's messy. That's good. It's very saucy. And we need napkins. But it's good. Yeah, my hands are full of all the love. Oops. So is my camera now. These are too good. These are actually super good. So far, I think my favorite is the one with the ketchup, the all American, and the, the classic. I love these. And they're fries. Approved. Abby approved? Approved. Okay, so you guys have to come visit the spot. It's on like Durango and Centennial, which is northwest of Las Vegas. Um, so good. So freaking good. Drew, can we have some words? Drew, what in the world? Like those are those are a little too good. It's good. Those are a little too good. Yeah, yeah, we know. It's good, but thank you. It's good. It's good. <laughs> We're trying. We're just trying. It's a very simple burger, but made with the utmost quality ingredients. Very simple though. Three burgers, that's all you need. That's it. And did you guys know that this is the man that got me to start waking up at six in the morning? Six well, he inspired me. That's right. He was like, oh, I wake up at 5 a.m., I do this, this, and that. I was like, oh, I need that life. Start your day off on the right foot. Get out there and get it. Get that burger. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so I was convinced here by Damien to have uh, some soft serve ice cream. Yeah, so it's a, it's a French custard mix. This is chocolate. We have a birthday cake. Uh, dip with some blackberry sauce and birthday sprinkles. Try it. It's almost bedtime, guys. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep. Try it. I think you'll <laughs> sleep good. All right. You'll sleep better with it. Oh my god. That's a lot of flavors at once. <laughs> if you love sweets, you're gonna love this. Ooh, crazy. <laughs> well, it's another beautiful night here in Las Vegas, and uh, we are finally rejoined with Lydia. It's a beautiful night to eat sushi. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what we're actually about to do. We're going to, I think it's like a grand opening of a new spot called On Demand Sushi and Spirits. Yes. It's over Southwest, like Blue Diamond and Rainbow. Rainbow, yeah. So, they yeah. have a couple other locations here in Vegas, but this is their new one on this side of town because the Southwest is popping now. It is. Yeah, this is our first time. No, not actually our second time hanging out since I got back from Japan I and Vermont. Know. We went to like this other event and uh, Lydia was very unfazed that I got back. Wait, what do you mean? Lydia! Perfect timing, do you want something? Maybe. Okay. Hello. You have like two seconds to decide. <laughs> hello. Oh my God, hello. That's, that's the first thing she oh asked. Oh my God, hello. Like, what do you want to drink? I haven't seen you in like three weeks. I miss you too, son. Oh, I miss you too. <laughs> Japan, the Asian fair, whatever. Oh yeah, that's because I was focused on standing in line and getting food. <laughs> mm -mm. Food comes first, apparently. <laughs> the 
There's so many people here. Ooh, yum yum, apple mojito, that was good. I'm a little weird, I don't like to really eat the rice with uh, with the fish. I that just kind of like to eat it on, on its own. That I want to taste weird. the fish, I don't want to taste the rice. I'll eat the rice later. I think this is too bad. I bet you must be curious. But I don't think I had the opportunity to have good sushi in Japan. Yeah. That's specifically I, why I wanted to go to Japan. But uh, yeah, I think it was like maybe one piece of sushi that I had in a plate of mediocre sushi. Really? That was the first night that I was there. But um, That's wild. I am very happy with this. And then some sort of white fish. Hopefully not not um, raw squid. It's the squid. Mm. Mm. Whatever that is, it's super good. It's like a fatty white fish. Oh my god, this salmon belly is freaking delicious. It is almost amazing, as amazing as Giselle is here. Well, well, and well rested. Looking happy, so looking true. Am I glowing? Am I glowing? We, we both actually flew in at the exact same like night. Oh really? Same night. She just came back from Italy, I just came back from Barcelona. Came back from Barcelona. <laughs> Italy. So you know where she is mentally. Italy. Yeah. Still in Japan. Still in Japan. Yeah. yeah. In Vermont. Too. And we were in the airport at the exact same time. We flew literally like the same hour. That's hilarious. But we miss each other. Yeah. It's okay. We knew we were gonna see each other at some point. That was a lot of fun. That was my dinner. A lot of food. <laughs> yeah. Dinner and breakfast for tomorrow. Bye, girl. It was good. Bye. Come check it out. <laughs> oh. oh, were you doing Hello. your makeup? Hi. I was actually. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey. Have Where are we been? going? We're going to Resorts World. Yay. This is like our third time staying there. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's been well, 24 hours. Uh, brocation. No. What was it? The other one. Uh, uh, bachelors. Bachelor party. So, yeah, today we are doing a kind of like we're doing content for them. Um, they're really only asking for reels, which amazing. Easy. Yeah. Can do. But you guys know me. I can't not film. <laughs> All content is good content. Yeah. So plus we actually have a lot to do today. It's not just Resorts World, it's more than that, but you guys will see. We're actually spending like a touristy time on the strip. Kind of actually. Instead of just oh staying in one hotel. Let's go to Resorts World. Hey. We just checked in. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> a couple because, of heart attacks were had. Yeah. Because we got here, and then when it's time to check in, they're like, you know, credit card and ID. And I could not find my wallet. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, it must be in the car. Right. So I went all the way to the car, and it wasn't there. I was freaking out. I was like, where the heck is it? And then I was like, wait. And I was like, is it in my makeup bag? Which is in my bag with Lydia. In the lobby. Yes, so, but it's okay, we made it. So you got an extra like 500 steps in though. Yeah, so there you go. A, a few extra 100 yeah. beats of the heart for the yeah. day. <laughs> so now, um, first thing we're gonna do, we just dropped off our bags, but now it's spa time. Yes. to the room we are at the conrad we are it's a standard room but this is still really nice it's this really is, big for a standard room yeah look at all this room for activities with your robots in here so many activities i like <laughs> this bench right here oh yeah you're right it, we'll call this the timeout bench <laughs> currently right now lydia's trying to see what she will look like with bangs i think it's beautiful <laughs> what do you think just cut just like very light on the forehead <laughs> Beautiful. Just kind of like a light bang. Oh my bang. god. You don't want to go full committing to bangs, so you just do like a light commitment <laughs> to bangs. Okay, but yeah, so we just finished the, um, the spa. spa. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Such a nice spa. I wish that we could have filmed it all for you guys because it was really, really gorgeous. 
Yeah, obviously it's a spa. You're not allowed to film in there because people just run around naked apparently. <laughs> uh, <laughs> even though we didn't see anyone naked. Yeah, so if you guys ever just look like look up the spa on their website, that's exactly what it looks like. It is beautiful. They have a ri that area. It's a co-ed area. Mm -hmm. It's super nice. They have a so salt nice. room which you sit down and the seats like warm, mm -hmm. and then they have a, like hot tubs. steam rooms. They have a, a, a cold plunge, a warm tub, and then a hot tub. And there's stars on the ceiling, and there's a screen that's playing all these soothing places. I know that screen was actually beautiful. So and nice. those they have like seats around that you can sit down in and those are those are like kind of hot but i kind of liked it because i kind of pressed my back against it and i was like mm, warm up my like muscles another type of massage so oh massage nice. we got a massage we each got a massage on our own um that was, it was amazing beautiful. It, we did not have the same room, unfortunately, though. So they we did couldn't... not give us a couple's massage. <sighs> Come on! Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> Overall, definitely recommend so nice. Resorts World. One of the nicest oh, one. spas I've been in, for sure. Now, this is not a 24-hour stay, so we are allowed to leave. We are! Wow! <laughs> I know, right? Yay! We can be regular <laughs> tourists! So what we're doing right now, because yes, we do have more to film here for Resorts World, but it's not till later at night. So we were like, we have time. So we're going to go somewhere and film some stuff there for, not for fun. I mean, we were asked to come and film. Um, but it is going to be fun. It is. I'm very excited. You, you guys know we love this spot, and I know you guys love this spot. So. Everybody loves this spot. So yeah, give us a second. Here, let's, let's do a magic trick. Jen Kramer taught me this. Oh. Ta-da! Okay, what do we think? Lydia's wearing a dress. Uh, you can't tell what I'm wearing. Hold on. It kind of looks like you're wearing a dress because the fabrics look very similar. Because they're just both very dark. Yeah. And uh, I'm currently wearing a <laughs> flip-flop, but I'm going to be wearing the big daddies today. Yes. <laughs> Funny enough, this is like my number one rule. Don't wear heels <laughs> on the strip. But, uh, well, we're only wearing them from the car to the place. Yes. So, so I am wearing the flip-flops to drive and to get from here to the car. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Hey, hi, JT. Oh, what up? Nice to meet you. <laughs> That's no, so we kind of snuck out a little bit and we're now at Cosmopolitan because the Chandelier Bar is doing brand new cocktails on each level. So I think right now we're starting with level three. But yeah, so they have four new cocktails. We've got one of each because I told Lydia, if we both have one of each, we will need wheelchairs out of here. Oh, and there's food, thank God. That one looks so pretty. The one with like the foam on top. Looks like a bubble bath. That foam one is really Lydia, interesting. Okay, Lydia went ahead and tried the first one. And you liked it? I did. It is salty. Ooh. I went for the rim. I went for the salt rim, so it is I salty. I like it. It is so fancy. I just very briefly tasted that one, and that one's really I good. love it. Oh, I love that. This one looks so cool. It has a strawberry in the ice. I like it. I just, it, I don't taste the Pinot Noir. And then this one. Mango and Bacardi. I like it too. Dude, these are all amazing. What the heck? That's, I like that, yeah. I really like them all. I feel like they all are very fancy, very elevated. Like they really took their time making them this one. Like you're not gonna find these at some like keg party. <laughs> So for this drink right here, this is what the bartenders are, would do, but they're letting us do it. So we're gonna be bartender for five minutes. Take an ice. Uh, five seconds and ta-da! There's your pineapple. This? There you go. There you go. Okay. Ew. Slowly, slowly. Oh, you did yours perfect. It looks like a... mine like bubbled up like a lot. <laughs> And then pour it over. I'm being generous. Cheers, let's see. Oh, cheers. It's so good. The ice cube made all the difference. So, so this next one right here has like foam on the top. Ooh, I can't wait to try this foam right there. Okay, at first it's like I'm eating soap, but no. Whoa. <laughs> it's like a little bit like, like cotton candy almost. I'm not sure. It's sweet, it's sweet for sure. And then the drink, oh, this is like different. So we're now on level one and a half, which is where we're at right now, like drinks wise. Level one and a half is gonna be more about like actual cocktails. 
So, versus the first level where we were at, like the top floor, that one was more about like champagne and like more bubbles, you know? This was more like actual cocktails. And then this one, the one that we made with the ice cube, very tequila forward, almost like a Paloma 2, but just more concentrated. I, was, I don't know. Both very good. This one they said is like their most popular one. It's the raspberry one. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you could it definitely taste like raspberry. And it has, ooh, yum. It has dehydrated raspberries at the top. I'm enjoying myself. The mocktails that they have for each floor oh. are spectacular. Like really good mocktails. That tastes like candy. You know how sometimes you go to a bar and you order a mocktail and it's just like a mixture of juice? This is so much more than that. So it good. It tastes like a Smartie almost. Or like mm. a Starburst. Oh. But yeah, so oh, this, this last one that we're doing right now is the bottom floor, so our first floor. And this is more about like... Um, a nightcap. Yes. Strong drinks that, you know, hair. And yummy mocktails. We cannot try them all because <laughs> wheelchairs. Yeah. Okay, I really want to try the purple one. I really want to try the purple one. Okay. The purple one, this oh, is well, smoky. I don't think that it makes sense. Okay. I don't think smoky is for me. Have JT try it. I'll stick with my nice sugary cherry drink. I like it. This is definitely a nightcap type of drink yeah. for sure. Like, cool day. <laughs> Norma Mixologist strikes again. Right, so oh, I'm that. scared. Okay. This this is scary. Norma with a blowtorch. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. And then there should be, is there smoke in the bottom? Barely. I kind of want more. I want more smoke. This is going to be the smokiest cocktail to ever exist. Why am I then terrified? Then you're going to open this up. You have to take the top off first, right? Yes. Yay. Wow. Look at that smoke. Okay. Oh, I can smell the smoke now too. Oh, it kind of smells like marshmallows. Just a little bit because I want to take the rest home. <sighs> oh, this is actually not as strong as I thought it would be. This is very good. I like this. And I like old fashioned type of drinks. This is very delicious. Cheers. We are now at Genting Palace, uh, back here at Resort World. And this place is beautiful. The vibe so of the pretty. restaurant is so nice. Like gold touches on everything. It's very calming too. There's so this much food. Is, yeah. All right, hot and sour soup. First Can people first. do that with a left hand? Mmm. No, we're good. This is spicy. So we had the, we ordered the Peking duck because why the heck not? It was highly recommended. Yeah, they cut it up and it's so beautiful. They made it into a little like it's a pancake. Sorry for being Mexican burritos. It's but a burrito. <laughs> it's a burrito. Oh, it's gonna be so crunchy right now. The duck skin is juicy. Oh my god. Obviously it's like all the fat, but it's juicy. Crunchy. Mm -hmm. I think you're supposed to use like chopsticks for this, but. Well, I can't chopsticks and left hand at the same time. Oh my god. So good. So juicy. Oh my god. Yeah. So we may have over ordered. Totally over ordered. But this is all so freaking good. Yeah, that duck was made amazingly. Um, the fried rice is super good. The burritos, the hot and sour soup. The dim sum. So apparently, when you get the pecking duck, they make it into two courses. Like, first, the little. Uh, pancake, pancake burritos. Burrito. <laughs> you can make a fried rice out of it, like the remaining duck meat. Mm -hmm. Fried rice, you can just chop it up. You could, like, all this. We decided to make ours with green beans. Mm -hmm. uh, and they like a stir fry. And they fry it up, the duck, really nicely. It's like so crunchy good. on the outside. So good. And we still have dessert coming. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have a strawberry mousse dessert, mm -hmm. and it literally looks like the perfect strawberry. Well, Not it did anymore. up until like 20 seconds ago, but we splattered it. Well, Norma splattered for it. For the video, for the reel. For the content. So if you guys can please, right after this, um, make sure you watch this video first. Mm -hmm. Comment, like, and subscribe, by the Comment, way. Comment, like, and subscribe. 
like especially the subscribe part. Mm -hmm. And then go over to Norma's Instagram and like it, and then go over to my Instagram and like <laughs> it in that order. And comment on the reel too. And comment. And, and share it with a friend. <laughs> and then save it. Yeah. And then maybe like another comment. <laughs> Tag a friend. This is not whiskey. I swear, this is just tea. <laughs> it's, tea. <laughs> it's like so many textures mm. in there. The crunchiness of the chocolate. Yeah. It's literally like a chocolate covered strawberry. Oh my god. Wait, very I'm gonna delicious. crack it again. <laughs> that was cool though. That was that was pretty cool. This is why we only get invited to a few things. We have one more place to go to. Mmm. And we love this one. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> we are full. I don't even want to show down here right now because it's... <laughs> we might need to ask them to bring a second fridge. <laughs> yeah, seriously, that's all. And then at the very end, they gave us these little, uh, what are they? I'm not even sure. Sesame rice ball. Oh, they're nice. so cute. Yeah, we're just going to drop this off in the room really quick. And then on to the next. On to the next. We saved a lot of room for the next. <laughs> for once, I'm not the dressed up one. Oh, and then we forgot to say, Lydia changed. No. I was tired of my sleeves. <laughs> So we're here at Alley on 66. So yeah, just like I said, I was on the 66th floor and they have amazing views. You can see both sides of the strip, south, which is amazing, and then north towards like downtown and the Strat. And it's beautiful. It, I cannot wait to actually walk around here. I feel like I just stepped into somebody's study. Like the yeah. wood, the dim lighting. It's nice. It's, it's so romantical. I ordered us each a champagne because I feel like here at Alley Lounge, it's so fancy you have to start with champagne. That is a good champagne. Yum, yum, yum. So this is a cookie butter espresso martini. Lydia has been dreaming of this for months. Maybe even years. Maybe even years. That literally tastes, you know when you fly Delta and they give you one of those Biscoff cookies? <laughs> That's what this tastes like in an espresso martini. Brace yourself for turbulence. Oh my god, this, this smells like a snickerdoodle or like... It does, it tastes, because of the cinnamon. It tastes like a snickerdoodle too, I can see that. That is actually really good. Do you taste oh my that god. like Biscoff cookiness? It's very cinnamony, very perfect for fall right now. Oh my god, that's so good. It is very good actually. Oh my word. Okay, she loves uh, espresso martinis. I would you say this is like the best you've had? This is definitely in the top three. We are having <laughs> the time of our lives here at Ellie Lounge. That's really good. Thank you to the Royce World. Okay, Lydia, uh, thoughts? Thoughts and prayers? Um, I love it, obviously. It's beautiful Cookie butter, here. espresso martini was delicious. If it wasn't 11 p.m., I would order another one. This place is really, really nice. So, yeah, Epic. during the day, you can see the mountains. It's pretty nice, too. I mean, I can see Circa all the way down there, so I oh, can yeah. see downtown. Can't believe you jumped off the strat still. I don't know if I can do it again. So we discovered something kind of cool. Oh, first of all, good morning. Good morning. Good. So right there is a Conrad, the lobby. I, I feel, is this new? I have no idea, but there's this hallway right here that look, now all of a sudden we are right next to Bar Zazu. And then eight right there, Viva, Brezza's over there. Yeah, so I had no idea that you could just do that. Like that saves a ton of time. If you kind of- It's a good 60 seconds at least. Again, I don't know if it's new. I don't know if we've just been blind. I would like to go with the first one. Okay, but French time. We're now about to have brunch at Wally's and oh my God. So we're learning so much about Wally's here at Resort World. So first of all, in the very back is actually a, an, an alcohol retail store. It's a full retail store. They said that they have 1,300 wines and over 500 spirits. And they're not expensive, no. as you would think. So he said it's comparable to like total wine prices, which is like our regular liquor store here right. in Las Vegas. I saw like bottles of like whiskey for $29. Yep. I saw tequila for like in the 30s. Yep. So yeah, if you don't want to leave property, like I think this is a great option. A they have so option. much. Literally the best in town. Really great guys, we're bringing this all in. Yeah. Uh, we actually ended up getting a tour of their uh, their whole like wine cellar. I don't even know what to call it, but we got the wine whole cellar, tour. Wine cellar, retail space. It was, they have a lot. They have wines 
some that are very affordable, but some are like $12,000 yeah. and stuff like that. They have a lot to offer from. To be affordable here, you could ball out. <laughs> you could really ball out here. I think the most expensive one I saw was $12,900. Anyway, speaking of balling out, <laughs> we kind of are, actually. Okay, let's definitely start with caviar. Yeah, so thank you. You just gotta put it on here and then you just hum. And, but you gotta let it chill on your, your tongue for a bit. The eggs just kind of disintegrate. They like melt into your tongue. <laughs> Ooh, that's yeah. so freaking good. I mean, this is definitely more of a high-end thing to do. I mean, don't get us wrong, this isn't something that we're doing every single day. Definitely <laughs> not. This is very much a special occasion for, I think, both of us. Yeah. Oh, what thank you. you. This is, is the Barber Lee Whiskey. Barber oh. Lee Whiskey. Uh, again, it's out of California. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, you can't swallow it right away. You gotta like let it marinate in your mouth. Okay. Because by letting it, Marinate in your mouth. The spiciness kind of just like takes it out on your tongue instead of your throat. Mmm. So letting us do a little tasting here. Woo! Okay, wait. Let me have a bite of this now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Cleanse the palate. Oh, my tongue is like tingly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are definitely fluffy. not your normal brunch experience. <laughs> oh my word. And then they also do have um, charcuterie. So the charcuterie is really cool because you can just mix and match it mm -hmm. on your own. Well, we ordered three cheeses and two meats. They have the Iberico Bariota, which is like high-end salami. Mm. This is like a creamier brie. Uh -oh. That is great. That's like butter brie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's mm. good. Come here. Get some wine. Get a charcuterie board. 100% go shopping. Don't gamble. Get caviar. For real. For and, real. and guys, this isn't it. That we have like actual brunch coming out. This is all I need. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what to do. Okay. Okay, perfect. We just did a little bit of content right now for the steak. So I think we should eat the steak now. Yeah, let's eat the steak now. <laughs> it's a good crust on the outside. Oh, and the egg too. And the sauce inside. That is a good steak. Okay. I really want to try the egg. The egg is good. I had some of the yolk. This is like, like, it doesn't even go through my fork. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it still hangs on. I really want to try your perfect. The honey's good, right? Mm -hmm. I just want to sit here for like five. We've already been sitting here for almost two hours. 